Chag Sameach, dear friends, my name is Rabbi Mark Schneier, and welcome to the Hampton Synagogue. Our congregation, in partnership with JBS TV, presents the Passover Seder. Hundreds of thousands view our Friday evening Kabbalat Shabbat services and Saturday morning Shabbat prayers with our world-renowned cantor Nathaniel Hirschstick, accompanied by the Hampton Synagogue Choir, under the direction of Maestro Itzhak Haimov. We are pleased to offer this Passover Seder to you as well. JBS TV telecasts to 49 million homes across America and to multitudes online globally. JBS is at the vanguard of strengthening Jewish identity and building Jewish life, helping us to live Jewish and to love Jewish, particularly at this trying time. JBS needs and deserves financial support from you, our viewers. My friends, Passover celebrates our deliverance from Egyptian bondage 3,300 years ago. It recounts the story of the Israelites' oppressive servitude and suffering, the divine mission entrusted to Moses and his brother Aaron, their untiring efforts to secure the release of our people, the stubborn resistance of the Egyptian pharaoh, and the series of plagues that eventually caused pharaoh's change of heart. Passover is the focal point of Jewish history because it crystallizes the Israelites as a nation, and mark the birth of the Jews as a free people. The Torah calls Pesach by the name Chag Hamatzot, the festival of the unleavened bread. It is also referred to as Zeman Cherutenu, the season of our freedom. Finally, the name Pesach is a reference to the Paschal offering brought on the eve of the festival to the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. The Seder is a religious service which includes a festive meal. The word Seder means order, a ritual meal accompanied by a specific order of service featuring the ceremonial plate, the three matzot, and the Haggadah, literally the telling booklet containing the order of the service, the blessings, and prayers to be recited. Manishtana, why is this Passover different than any other Passover, perhaps the most unique in Jewish history? Pesach is the quintessential shared holiday celebrated with family and friends. With the coronavirus curtailing travel plans and social interactions, many of you are celebrating Passover alone. Pesach 2020, families on Zoom, solo seders, and broken traditions. We find ourselves smitten by a plague of biblical severity, a modern-day disease that has reached biblical proportions. Ultimately, the Seder is divided into two sections, from the moment we recite Kiddush until the festive meal, The Seder emphasizes the past redemption, the exodus from Egypt. After the meal to the Seder's conclusion, with its psalms of praise and Elijah's cup, it looks to future redemption. May this Passover season 
usher in a full redemption from the horrific coronavirus plague that afflicts us. And next year, let us celebrate the Seder together with family, friends, and loved ones in good health, happiness, and peace. Let us now begin our Seder with a beautiful recording of Passover Seder songs performed by our cantor Nitanel Hershtik, accompanied by Colin Shachatz and the Jerusalem Symphony. Ma nishtana halayla haze mikol halaylot mikol halaylot shebechol halaylot anu achlim chamei tzumatza chamei tzumatza halayla haze halayla haze kulo matza halayla haze halayla haze kulo שבכל הלילות אנו אוכלים שאר ירקות, שאר ירקות, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה כולו מרור, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה כולו מרור. שבכל הלילות אין אנו מטבילים אפילו פעם אחת, אפילו פעם אחת, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה שתי Oh, 
Dear friends, let us examine the different elements that make up the Passover at Seder plate. I see we have the uh, shank bone and the roasted egg. Both symbolize the Paschal offering and the festival offering that was brought to the Holy Temple in Jerusalem when it was in existence. We have the maror, the bitter herbs, which recalls the bitterness that our ancestors endured in bondage. A family favorite, the uh, haroset, which looks like the mortar that our people used to build, to construct Egyptian cities and pyramids. And then we have the green vegetable, the karpas, my family tradition is to use parsley. It's a green vegetable because Passover is also known as Chag Ha'aviv, the festival of spring. Also, on our Passover table, we find the matzah. And why do we eat matzah on Passover? First, it reminds us how our ancestors had to leave Egypt in haste. There wasn't enough time for the dough to rise. And second, matzah is referred to as lachem oni, which means the poor bread, the poor bread that our Israelites were forced to eat during their bondage in Egypt. And then people inquire as to why we have three matzot. There are a number of explanations and traditions. I will share two of them with you. First, the three matzot recall our three forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And second, the three matzot represents the three remaining tribal units of the Jewish people. Kohen, the priests, Levi, the Levites, and Israel, the Israelites. So we now begin the order of the Seder service with the first step known as Kadesh, the recitation of the Kiddush. And speaking of the Kiddush, which we're about to recite over this beautiful cup of wine, why do we have four cups of wine at the Passover Seder? Because four is a very significant number. According to the Torah, according to the Bible, God used four expressions of redemption to redeem the Jewish people from Egypt. I will now recite the Kiddush over the first cup of wine. Baruch Ata Adoshem, Elokinu Melech Olam, Borei Pri Hagafen, Baruch Ata Adoshem, Elokinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar Ban Mikol Naham, The Roman Mikol Asham, The Kiddush Anu B'Mitzvotav, Vatiten lanu Adoshem Elokinu biahava Moadim lesimcha Hakim uzmanim lesasoon Et yom chag hamatzot hazeh Zeman cheruteinu Mikra kodesh Zecher litziat mitzrahim Hivanu vacharta Biota nu kidasha mi kol ha amim, umoade kachecha, bisimcha um sasa on hin chautanu, 
Baruch Ata Adoshem Mekadesh Israel Behaz Maniim Baruch Ata Adoshem Elokinu Melech Olam Shehechayanu Vekiyamanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazeh Blessed art thou, Lord, King of the universe, who has kept us alive, who has sustained us, and who has enabled us to celebrate our Passover season. Amen. The next step in our Seder order is Urhatz which means the washing of the hands. We now wash our hands, but do not recite a blessing. The third step is karpas, the eating of the green vegetable. I will now take a small piece of the karpas, dip it in the salt water, the salt water which represents our ancestors' bitter tears in Egypt, in slavery, and will pronounce the blessing Baruch Ata Adoshem Elokinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri HaAdama. Praised are you, eternal God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the earth. At this time, I would invite you to enjoy your carpas dipped in the salt water. The next step is yachatz, which is the breaking of the middle matzah. We uncover the matzot, We'll take the middle matzah and we break it in half. We break it in half to use for the afikoman. The afikoman, which is the dessert after the meal. It is customary to wrap the afikoman in a napkin to hide it so that the children will have the opportunity to redeem it following the Birkat Hamazon, the grace after meals. Our next step is Magid, the telling of the Passover story. And I will recite in English this is the bread of affliction, which our forefathers ate in the land of Egypt. All who are hungry, let them come and eat. All who are needy, let them come and celebrate Passover with us. Now we are here. Next year, may we be in the land of Israel. Now we are slaves. Next year, may we be free. Over the matzot, one of the highlights of our Passover Seder are the four questions, which you heard a beautiful recording by Cantor Hirschick. I will recite these uh, four questions again, the prominence of the number four at our Passover Seder. Ma nishtana ha Mi kol hallelot, mi kol hallelot, shebechol hallelot, anu ochlin chameitzu matzah, chameitzu matzah, halay lahaze, halay lahaze, 
kulo o matsa halaila hase halaila hase kulo o matsa shebahol halelot on u ochlin she ar yirakot she ar yirakot Halayla hazeh, halayla hazeh, ma'aror. Halayla hazeh, halayla hazeh, ma'aror. Shebechol halilot in anu matpilin, afilu pam echat, afilu pam echat. Halay la haze, halay la haze, shete efe amim. Halay la haze, halay la haze, shete efe amim. Shebechol halilot on u ochlin, men yoshvin u vein misubin. Men yoshvin u vein misubin. Halayla hazeh, halayla hazeh, kulanu misubin. Halayla hazeh, halayla hazeh, kulanu misubin. So the four questions in English. Why is this night different from all other nights? On all other nights, we eat leavened bread, or matzah unleavened. On this night, why only unleavened bread? Second question. On all other nights we eat herbs of any kind. On this night, why only bitter herbs? Third question. On all other nights, we do not dip our herbs even once. On this night, why do we dip them twice? And the fourth question. On all other nights, we eat our meals in any manner. On this night, why do we sit around the table in a reclining position? And now comes the answer to these questions. And it is at this point of the Seder, as we are in the section of Magid telling the Passover story, that participants at the Seder should interrupt the narrative to offer any additional explanations or insights. We begin with the answer, Avadim hayinu lefar'o b'metzrayim, b'yotzienu adoshem elokeinu misham, b'yad chazaka uvizra netuya. We were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Eternal, our God, brought us out from there with a strong hand, and an outstretched arm. And we continue reading the narrative, and we meet the four sons, Kineged Arba'a Banim Dimra Torah, that the Torah speaks about four sons, Echad Chacham, Echad Rasha, Echad Tam, Ve'echad She'onea Yodea Lish'ol, one who is wise, one who is wicked or contrary, one who is simple, and the she'eno, yodea lish'o, the one who does not even know how to ask a question. Again, the theme of the number four at the Passover Seder. And now we come to the beautiful declaration of Vihi she'amda lavotenu. When we say that this promise made to our forefathers hold true also for us, for more than once have they risen against us to destroy us. In every generation they rise against us and seek our destruction. But the Holy One, blessed be He, saves us from their hands. I once heard a very beautiful interpretation as I cover the matzot 
and raise the cup of wine for this proclamation of the Amda, that the secret of Jewish survival has not been shalom echad bilvad, that there was never only one nation that was able to destroy us, but the secret of Jewish survival is that our enemies have never been echad, that our enemies have never been one. This was an interpretation that was shared with me that was first suggested by the great rabbinic personality, the Maharal of Prague. And as one who is so involved in strengthening Muslim-Jewish relations around the world, and now seeing the Arabian Gulf and Israel come closer together, the Maharal's insight is so timely and so appropriate that our enemies have never been as one. You now have within the Arab world, in the Middle East, you have those who are reaching out to Israel, particularly the Gulf states, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, and Oman. And then you have those like Iran and its allies who are very much opposed to the state of Israel. Our blessing, our good fortune, shalom echad bilvad, that our enemies are not as one. And today we now see allies and friends within the Arab world, within the Muslim world, coming closer to the state of Israel. And now, one of the highlights of the Passover narrative is the recitation of the ten plagues that God visited upon the ancient Egyptians. It is customary when we recite each plague that we spill or we take a drop of wine because wine is symbolic of joy. And even though the Egyptians, who ultimately drowned in the Red Sea, Pharaoh's army, there was still a loss of human life. And we don't fully rejoice over our redemption and freedom because there was this loss of life. And this demonstrates how interconnected, how interrelated we are common faith and a common fate and how our single destiny must always strengthen our bonds of concern, compassion, and caring for each other. Dam, blood, Svardea, frogs, pinim, vermin, arov, Wild beasts, Dever, pestilence, Shechin, boils, Barad, hail, Arbe, locust, Hoshech, darkness, and Makat Mechorot, the slaying of the Egyptian firstborn. One of the most popular melodies and chantings at the Passover Seder is the proclamation of Dayenu. When we say, had God only brought us out from Egypt and not executed judgment against the Egyptian people, Dayenu, that would have been enough for us. If God had only executed judgment against them and had not executed judgment against their idols, Dayenu, that would have been enough for us. And this theme continues. So I will now just take a few of these declarations and now sing and chant them with you. 
Ilu hotsi hotsi anu hotsi anu mi mitzrayim velo asa bahem shefatim dayenu day dayenu day dayenu day dayenu 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 day dayenu day dayenu Da da ye nu, da ye nu, da ye nu. Il nu asa ba hem shifati velo asa, ve lo ke hem velo asa, ve lo ke hem da ye nu. Da da ye nu, da da ye nu, da da ye nu, da ye nu, da ye nu, da ye nu, da da ye nu. Da da ye nu, da da ye nu, da ye nu, da ye nu. And now we come to the second cup of wine. Baruch Ata Adoshem Elokinu Melech HaOlam. And now we've come to the corner of our Passover Seder known as Rach Sa, which is the washing of the hands, which we traditionally recite this blessing before eating any form of bread or, in our case, at the Seder, the Matzah. And following the blessing over our hands, we now will make the blessing, two blessings over the matzah. Permit me to uncover the matzah plate. Let me take a piece of matzah. And we now recite two blessings. Baruch Ata Adoshem, Elokinu Melech Olam, Hamotzi Lechemin Haaretz. Baruch Ata Adoshem, Elokinu Melcholam, Asher Kidushanu, Be Mitzvotav, Betsivanu, Al Achilat Matzah. Praised are you, eternal God, ruler of the universe, who made us holy with his commandments and commanded us to eat matzah. And please take a bite of the matzah. And next step is the maror, the bitter herbs, which we explained its significance before. And we dip the bitter herb into the haroset. And now we recite the special blessing for the Maror, Baruch Ata Adoshem, Elokinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu, B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu, Al Achilat Maror. Praised are you, eternal God, ruler of the universe, who made us holy with his commandments and commanded us concerning the eating of bitter herbs. And then, my friends, we make a sandwich known as Hillel's sandwich, where we take two pieces of matzah and we put the bitter herb between the two pieces of matzah. And we create what is known as Hillel's Sandwich. Why is it Hillel's Sandwich? Listen carefully. In remembrance of the Holy Temple, we do as Hillel did in Temple times. He put matzah and bitter herbs together and ate them as a sandwich in order to observe the words of the Torah, 
they shall eat it, the Passover offering, with matzah and bitter herbs. Enjoy your sandwich. At this point, the Passover meal is now served, and many have the custom to begin with an entree of a hard-boiled egg in salt water. What's the symbolism of the hard-boiled egg? You have to look at the texture of a hard-boiled egg, that the more you boil the egg, the harder it gets. And this is a lesson of our history as the Jewish people. 2,000 years of oppression, persecution, subjugation, coercion, 2,000 years from the Crusades to the Inquisitions to the pogroms to the Holocaust, and yet the more we were literally boiled, the tougher, the tougher the Jewish nation became so that we are the blessed generation to enjoy the establishment of the state of Israel, the state of Israel that has chartered a new and more dignified role for our people. Enjoy the festive meal at this time.
you enjoyed your festive meal and the first part of the Seder is now over and we're now coming to the second section really the concluding part of our Passover experience so the first thing we do is uh, we have to distribute the Afi Koman which is our dessert ah I found look I found my Afi Koman and uh, should break up the afi koman and have a little taste, which we, I would be doing if it were in virtual times. And after eating the afi koman, which is known as the step of tzafun, comes barach. When we recite birkat hamazol, the grace after meals, thanking God for the abundance of food that we just enjoyed. And following the recitation of Birkat Hamazon, we now go to the third cup of wine. Baruch Ata Adol Shem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri HaGafen Another highlight at the Passover Seder is welcoming the prophet Elijah into our midst. It's customary to open the doors to rise. Elijah, who is the harbinger of peace, who is the messenger of freedom and redemption, and we need Elijah more than ever in terms of bringing us to an ultimate redemption, freedom from this terrible plague that is afflicting our society. I will recite the and chant the beautiful welcome to Elijah the prophet. Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hatishmi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hakiladi, Bimhera the Yamenu, Yahavo Elehenu, Imashiach. Ben David, Imashiach Ben David. I'll now put Elijah's cup down. The next order of the Seder is the recitation of Hallel, Hallel, which are the Psalms of praise, the beautiful beautiful melodies and renditions that we sing at our Passover Seder. And then we turn to the fourth cup of wine, the final cup, Baruch Ata Adoshem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam 
Glory, pre hug off. And now, dear friends, we've come to the last step of our Seder, known as Nirtsa, which is the conclusion of the Seder. And let me read to you the following declaration. We have ended the Passover Seder according to custom, statute, and law. Chasal Sidor Pesach Kehil Chato Kehol Mishpato Vehukato We ask God to speedily redeem his people and we conclude our Passover Seder with the words L'Shana Haba'ah B'Yerushalayim next year in Jerusalem. I want to thank all of you for joining me for our Passover Seder from the Hampton Synagogue, where I try to illustrate and to discuss some of the highlights and key points of the Passover Seder experience. It would be most fitting for us to conclude our Seder with the enchanting songs of Kilo Noe and Han Gadia performed by our world-renowned cantor Nitano Hirschtick, accompanied by the Jerusalem Symphony. Permit me to extend my heartfelt wishes once again for a Chag Sameach, a good yantif to you, your families and loved ones, and may we be blessed to see the ultimate redemption in our generation, in our lifetime. Chag Sameach to all of you. Kill 
Enjoyed this special JBS presentation for Passover. To watch more JBS, find us on the following providers. JBS, expanding Jewish understanding, celebrating all things Jewish.